Hey, 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 what's going on YouTube? Taka Tanaka Giants here with one pack break. I'm actually going to bust open a pack of these uh, potato chip cards from uh, 2013 Calgary. This is series one. Uh, first time for me to be getting into this. So kind of excited to see what the card design is like. Um, I'll get into more of that in a second. But first, uh, I want to go ahead and show you guys what I do with the majority of my base cards and refractors and inserts that don't really have a spot in my collection that I get, you know, through uh, loose pack breaks or box breaks or uh, case breaks with you guys, group breaks, whatnot. So uh, this is kind of what I do. Uh, before, I used to have a big display in my classroom, in my old classroom, and I used to, uh, the students would uh, pull a number from this treasure box here, and uh, the number that they pull would correspond to a penny sleeve that I have taped up on the wall and uh, they'd be able to take that card home with them. So it's pretty neat. It's a good way to practice English. There's a lot of good information that they can read on the back, like uh, hometown and birthdays and all that kind of stuff. It's pretty cool. But um, I've since I've moved my classroom, I had to kind of get rid of that display, and I condensed everything down to this really small uh, Ultra Pro Collector's album. And what I've done here, I'll go ahead and I might just pick up the camera. It's easier. Um, there we go. So what I do is, like, there's a nice uh, Nishioka up here. He's playing in Japan now. But uh, I have these uh, stickers, these little happy face stickers. Um, I have so many cards now in here uh, and also more that I plan on putting in that it's just not really, uh, it's, it's more interesting to put uh, these stickers on there rather than numbers. So it's kind of fun for the students. Got some A-plus stickers. Um, it's a nice mix of football, baseball, a lot of 2011 tops because I went kind of crazy with 2011 tops. A lot of cognac. Um, it's a nice diamond card right there. The kids really like the shiny stuff just like me, but a uh, nice Tsuyoshi Wada rookie card. Uh, a lot of Bowman Chrome is, or sorry, Topps Chrome. Um, after getting in that case break with a BDK and 721, uh, I had, I think I had the Tigers, I had the Orioles, and I had the uh, Marlins as well. So three teams with quite a few base cards. So I give away quite a, quite a, a nice range of nice stuff from Chrome. Uh, I got this really cool like Jarrett Wright card from Skybox. It's like one of the cards that the kids really try to chase and get. But uh, I'm gonna take this. I can't stick it in back in. Stick it back in with one hand. But uh, it's a pretty cool card. And uh, finishing it up with the last two here. Nice Hideki Okajima, who's now with the uh, Athletics minor league, I believe, and uh, Carlos Silva Cognac. So pretty cool. This is pretty much what I do with the uh, the cards in my collection. So if I were a student, I'd reach in this box right here, pull out a card. What I get? It's an A plus. It's kind of the orange color. I'd go through, see who I got. Let's find out together. It's kind of fun. Ooh, I want to pull this uh, Michael Wirtz. Don't know who the guy is, but a uh, shiny card for the win. So yeah, that's kind of what I do with my base refractors, inserts, and whatnot. I like to give to the kids um, since they do pay tuition, and that kind of helps fund my hobby, but um, funds my habit, rather. But uh, yeah, so that's it, guys. Just kind of curious what you guys do with a lot of your base, if you guys just throw them away or, um, you know, give them to other people. Whatever, and I still have this, I have this count box that's just full, oops of cards that I'm going to use to restock this binder when it starts to uh, go down. But anyways, guys, sorry about the delay, but I'm going to go ahead and get into this, uh, this bag of chips now. 2013 Calby. Um, looking forward to seeing what the design is. I haven't seen any of the cards on the internet yet. But um, I'm assuming it's like, as, as always, it's going to have maybe some retro inserts as well as kind of the full bleed design. Uh, no borders with these, just a one full image. And uh, let's see, hope it doesn't prove me wrong. <laughs> but, uh, oh, very nice. Hey, starting off with a star card. Very cool of Kenta Maeda. He actually performed very well um, this last round in the WBC, I believe. So a uh, very nice card to have. This should be a shiny card. It's an insert, S08. I'll bring it a little bit, in, a little bit closer so you guys can see. 2013 star card. We'll take a look at the other card first. Fujioka. So yeah, like I said, it's a full bleed design. Um, nothing really changes from each year. Here's the back, by the way. So yeah, this is series one. I hope you guys can see it. Looks seems a little dark, but uh, we'll go and take a look at the front of the star card. It should be shiny, and it sure is. That's pretty nice. Star card right there, Mr. Maida. Um, the way he's been playing recently, the last couple of years, he's still a young cat with a good head on his shoulders. Really nice guy and um, very friendly to his fans and to the media. So, um, I don't know. Maybe look out for him on an MLB team near you someday. But that's my break, guys. Let me go ahead and just get into the bag of potato chips really quick to show you guys the size of these bad dudes. <laughs> Anybody out there actually cut uh, potato chips with scissors? I know, it's kind of funny. 
<laughs> we'll go just pop the top on this. And there are the chips. So yeah, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching as always. I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. And I'll come back to you guys with a mail day hopefully soon. Talk to you later. Peace. Happy collecting. Bye-bye.